Hey guys, it's your girl Charnel Devay. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how I prepare my daughter's bottles. It's almost time for her feeding, so hey, why not film it, right? So first, start off by um, washing your hands, soap and water, or hand sanitizer. I keep a hand sanitizer by her, her formula and everything just for ease. And what I'm going to be doing is making a quick bottle for her. Now, everybody has their own ways of doing things. So, you know, you might like the way that I do it. You might prefer someone else's way. But basically what I do is one of two ways. Um, you never want to actually make the formula and then put it in the microwave. But me, I'm not going to make the bottle and then put it in the microwave. What I like to do is I will fill up her bottle. Hold on. Fill up the bottle and I use purified water. I got this from Babies R Us. And I'm just going to fill it up to the desired amount. And what I noticed is that when I do it this way, it kind of works better and I don't have to worry about the water scalding her or anything. Another way that I do it is I will, if I have already prepared the milk, um, I'll have a little container, Tupperware, this is something I had like cotton candy, um, and I'll fill it up to a certain amount and I'll put this in the microwave for about a minute or so and heat it up. But when I do it this way, which I'm about to show you, I'll fill up the bottle to my desired amount. This is going to be four ounces, so you're going to use two scoops of formula. Most formulas is a scoop for every two ounces. So I'm going to take this, put it in the microwave for 30 seconds, and then I'm going to go ahead and mix up her formula. So I'll be right back, and I'll show you guys how I do that. All right, so I'm back and had about 30 seconds in the microwave, and I'm going to be using um, the Infamil Gentle Ease. This is a giant container, and we shop at Sam's Club. It's actually a lot cheaper to get the bigger containers this was only like $25 or so if you go to like any grocery store anywhere else $25 will only get you like one of the smaller cans so duh smart mom you go to the big box stores or Sam's Club uh, BJ's whatever version of that store you have in your area go ahead and go there and it will save you lots of monies so I'm gonna take my first scoop and put that into the warm water and another scoop hands have already been cleaned and second scoop now this bottle has this little mixer that you put in it but you don't actually like mix up the water you just put it down into the top secure it i'm gonna grab the actual lid squeeze it real tight make sure that it's on there good and then what I do is I put the lid on top of that so that, you know, you're not transferring anything. So I'm going to grab the lid. Put the lid on here so that way you can make sure you get it nice and mixed up. Don't want to shake it too, too much because the extra bubbles will just upset the baby's tummy. Um, but the formula that I use is helpful for gas, fussiness, um and helps with crying it says within 24 hours that you know the baby's fussiness and gash should be you know a lot better she's not that fussy <laughs> but so i mix this up good and i like to do this right here because i feel like after you've mixed it mostly this right here will get any little chunks or anything that's left in there get it nice and blended and now since the water was already previously warmed up you have a nice warm bottle um, perfect temperature, don't have to worry about it scalding your little baby or anything like that. And we're all done. It's time for feeding. Quick tutorial on how to mix and blend your baby's bottle. Some people will do larger batches, have it in the refrigerator. I believe you can keep it in the refrigerator for 24 to 48 hours, but you have to make sure that you use it all within that time frame. For me, I'd rather make them, you know, bottle to bottle so I'm not having any wasted formula or anything of that nature so bottles ready and i'm going to go and get my little one up and get her feeding going thank you guys for watching and i look forward to doing some more mommy videos for you make sure you subscribe and like this video it's your girl charnel Bay over and out <laughs> all right guys so 
there's something that I forgot to mention. Not all babies like warm bottles. Some babies actually like to have their bottles room temperature. Some even like it cold. So it's more of what your baby's preference is and, and how they actually um, take to the bottles. My little nugget here, she happens to like her bottles to be either room temperature or warm. And since it is summertime, it's getting kind of warm out. We do room temperature a lot more often than not. Don't want to have too much going on. Say hi, mama. But yeah, it's feeding time. Got her geared up. Ready to go get some num nums. Thanks, guys. Continue watching. Please subscribe and comment below any type of videos that you would like to see. I'll be more than happy to record those for you. Have a great day.